nice of you waking me up. It takes a lot of moxie to fall asleep in a 12-person class. Thanks, I like moxie. Tracy is a really interesting character. She's not really a girly girl or the tomboy. She's like an old man in a lot of ways. You haven't dropped into your body yet. If I'm not in my body, then where am I? Tracy is not having the kind of experience I think she fantasized she'd have of, you know, being in New York and being in college, and it feels very underwhelming and lonely. And then she meets this larger-than-life character. You should call Brooke. She's in New York, you know. I'm so bad at calling people I don't know. I hear she's fun. Tracy! I think that Tracy really admires Brooke. What are you, what are you doing? I'm writing down what I said. You're noting yourself? And Brooke kind of secretly returns that admiration. You ready for the squirt? It's gonna get ugly. I'm ready. Great. How do we get there? They end up going on this whirlwind experience. High five, sister. That was an amazing night. I could definitely relate to Tracy wanting to be led by powerful and strong women. I think you can do anything. The young one is right. She's not that young. 10, 10 to 12 years younger. We're contemporaries. You really begin to see Tracy's transformation. Sometimes I don't know if you're a Zen master or a sociopath. I'm just normal. <laughs>